and when you enter those two codes, click on next. It mean I have add MFA uh, tab, not next. Then yeah, I mean add MFA. Yep, yep. Click on add MFA. Okay. And now share your screen. I hope there is no uh, nothing barcode visible on your screen right now. Correct? No, no, that's not. Now, right. now you can share your screen. Yeah. Perfect. Now you can see your MFA has been configured. The same way, as you're in root, you can also configure MFA for your users as well. Can you go to users? Do you configure Wait, how... for user? I am user. Wait, how did I know that this is done? Because do you see MFA right right in the straight multi-factor authentication? There is one that is being configured. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 And okay. yeah. Now can you go to users? On the left hand side, do you see users? So for the people who haven't enabled MFA for their IEM users, you can also configure the MFA for your IEM users one if you're logged in as root as well. Go to this or user, click on this user. This is going to be for your IEM user. Click on this user, username, click on the username, click on the username. Yes. Go to security credentials, security credentials, scroll down, same way, click on assign MFA device, type in a name. Let's say AWS IAM, uh, AWS hyphen IAM. Yep. That's good. Same way. And then do the same thing. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Click on next. Yep. Okay.